G'day folks, what is going on? It's Jacob coming at you on a Sunday evening. Was just um, in the office getting a little bit of work done before we kick off a new week. And uh, I just shared a post in my Facebook group and I was talking about a client that um, just pinged me a message saying they pulled in 33,000 cash collected in two weeks um, with an offer that we helped them pull together. And while that's an amazing result and I'm, I'm really, really happy for them, um, there's a really, really good lesson behind it that I wanted to share with you in a uh, in a quick video here. Okay, so before we jump into that one, if you haven't already, be sure to subscribe to the channel, give this video a like if you get any value or, or light bulbs from it. And I think uh, I think some of you will definitely take away a, uh, a big epiphany moment here and hopefully you, you take it and run with it. Um, leave any questions or comments that you've got below and I'll uh, do my best to answer them throughout the week. Okay, so and also check out that first link in the description, really actually relevant to what I'm gonna talk about today. Watch this video, then go click that first link and enter your details. It's gonna break down an offer that generated 45K in 11 days, and it's gonna show you how we do it with something called offer assets. They're essentially things that we help our clients build, which allows them to close anywhere from $1,000 to like $30,000, even beyond offers in the DMs, ditching sales calls and all that kind of stuff. So you'll see a really cool example in that first link in the description, and it's gonna tie back nicely to what we're gonna talk about in this video today. Okay, so uh, like I said, just got a message from a client who, who pulled in 33K in two weeks with, a, with an offer we helped them build. And uh, there's a deep, deep, deep lesson behind this. And whenever someone comes to me wanting help with their information business, okay, and we have people that come to us at kind of all different phases, but let's let's take, for example, a person who uh, maybe they've made some sales here and there, maybe they're kind of chugging along at a few grand a month, um, maybe they've had some bigger months, maybe they've even cracked like a five-figure month, but things just aren't consistent. And one thing we help people with is get up to that thirty to $100,000 per month mark and do that over and over and over again, right? Because that's what we do in our business and we can help people do that. And so let's just imagine someone who's just really struggling with that inconsistency. Their their focus is really, really scattered. They're, they're testing a whole bunch of different traffic sources and they're, they're trying to add the latest funnel and they're always jumping after, you know, the latest and greatest, all these kind of things, right? Imagine a pretty typical person like that, like that's pretty common. Usually what I see when I look at their stuff is they're just trying to do a whole bunch of, of different things and this one big thing is usually missing, right? They're trying to roll out all of these different offers, they're trying to roll out all these different platforms, funnels, traffic sources, they're just, everything's everything's all over the place and they're, they're kind of scurrying around and, and hunting around trying to figure out like what is this thing that's gonna that's gonna get the, the consistent cash flow rolling, right? And in my experience and where I point folks who, who are in this kind of messy situation is to one place. And it's, we need to figure out and dial in your signature offer, okay? And we have a couple of other names for it. Sometimes we call it like their core offer. Um, but essentially what it is, is, I'm just gonna turn the fan on, it's getting a bit warm in here. Essentially what it is, is an offer that's in that $1,000 to $10,000 range, right? It, it varies depending on the individual and the business, but it's in that one to 10K range, which means you don't need to sell a lot of it in order for it to have a significant impact on your, your business and your profits. And it really forms the, the nucleus of what will ultimately become your offer stack, right? Like I see people trying to roll out like $40,000 backend masterminds and then they struggle to get volume because you know there's nothing feeding it or they spend all their time playing around with like $100, $200 masterclasses and they might make a bit of money, but they've got nowhere to ascend those people to so they really can't make that much. This is all fixed by nailing that signature offer that sits in the one to $10,000 range. It's usually something evergreen. Typically we recommend to be evergreen um, so that you can sell it over and over and over again and you can sell it all the time. What we help folks do is nail that offer and then nail the offer asset in order to sell it. Then they're in a place where each day they can show up in their business, they can present that offer to people and start consistently closing sales, okay? What that will do is it gives them a ton of focus because they've got one core offer to focus on for now. And it gives them a lot of clarity and a lot of motivation to funnel all of their traffic and the different things that they're doing to one place, typically have a quick conversation in Messenger, present that offer and start getting those sales closing consistently. Okay, so it gives them a lot of focus, it gives them 
them a lot of motivation, it gives them a lot of clarity, and it gives them a very, very clear path to work on until those start coming in consistently. Okay, once those sales are coming in consistently, this is where you can now start to get more creative and now start to build out what I call your ecosystem, all right? This is where you can start to stack different traffic sources. This is where you can start to stack different uh, things that we call nurturing hubs, right? So in my business, that's essentially a place where you communicate with your audience every day. So we have three main ones. We have email, Facebook groups, and then not every day, but pretty consistently on my Facebook profile as well. They're essentially places where people can follow and consume content regularly. Okay, so you can start to add different touch points where you can stay in touch with people all the time, right? And then on the offer side of things, once that signature offer is rolling consistently, then you can start to get creative with front end and back end, okay? Then you can start to play around with those lower ticket buyer generating offers because now you've got somewhere to ascend people to, right? You can start to play around with those 10,000, 20,000, 30,000, 40,000, 50,000 dollar back end offers because you've got something on the front end to put them through first, which is gonna increase your volume and it's going to act as a filtering process for the people that ultimately end up in your back end offers, okay? And I can tell you from experience, you wanna be filtering the people that you're gonna work with at a higher level and longer term because you wanna make sure that you get along really well, right? And, and the prospect dynamic isn't the same as working with someone, right? And that's not to say we don't ever sell people into our back end programs. We do from time to time if we have a good read on it and we've had you know a good conversation and, and we feel like we can make that judgment call. But a lot of the time we wanna, we wanna run people through something in order to get into a back end program. This allows you to do this, okay? So for all of those reasons that I've listed, if you're someone who's been trying to get their information business off the ground or their affiliate business off the ground, the same premise applies. I would encourage you to put your tools down, right? Stop adding more traffic sources. Stop trying to build out more funnels. Stop trying to add more complexity. Stop trying to run a ton of different low ticket offers or some super high end, high ticket back end offer. Chill out for a minute and figure out the answer to what is my signature offer. And I would encourage you to have it in that one to 10K range. That's gonna form the nucleus of your offer stack and get that rolling, get that cash flowing. And then you can start to add the other pieces of the ecosystem around it that I mentioned in this video. Okay, that's what we do with our clients. We help them build that offer asset for that signature offer in the one to 10K range and get that selling consistently. Then we help them get more creative. Then we help them build out the ecosystem, really expand the brand by adding different traffic sources. We help them structure it up so that once that's once those traffic sources are starting to compound, right? They might be doing YouTube, they might be doing TikTok, they might be doing Facebook. They're all different platforms. What we do is we help them funnel those to a single place so that they're capturing information. Then we move them into these nurturing hubs where we stay in touch with people consistently. You'll see me do this in my Facebook group. You'll see me do this with my email list. There's just places where we stay in touch with our audience. The sales process feeds off the back of that. Usually it's one-to-one -one conversations in Messenger. Okay, so that consolidates again. And then people get presented with these offers with that signature offer being a really, really critical and core part of it. Okay, we play around and experiment with front end offers. I run back end offers as well, but having those core, that core offer in that one to 10K range, really, 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 really critical. Okay, so if you're in that phase where you're struggling to get consistency, I'd encourage you to re um, reflect on this. You can get in touch with us if you want help. Um, you can you know, check out, this is why I said off the top that that first link in the description um, is really, really relevant to this because you're gonna see an example of a signature offer that we ran in that same price range and you're gonna see how we do it and how we build those offer assets that can sell stuff. I think that, that example was a 5K offer that I break down in that video. So right in that middle point. Okay, so that's my advice for you today. Um, if you need to put your tools down and kind of stop for a second, map out that signature offer and, uh, and then start to build everything around that. You're gonna make your life a hell of a lot easier and uh, it's gonna give you a ton of clarity and a ton of drive and you're just gonna be able to see the direction that everything's moving. And then all of a sudden it gives everything else a purpose. All your traffic sources are leading to that. All of your emails, all of your Facebook group stuff, it's all leading to that. If you roll out a low ticket offer, it can sit in front of that. If you roll out a back end offer, it feeds from that. It gives everything else a purpose, okay? So that's my advice for you today. All right, I hope you have a fantastic day, have a fantastic week, kick some goals. Check out that first link in the description, get the video, join the Facebook group, and we'll, uh, we'll see you around the place. Have a good one, cheers.